Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to approve work-study timesheets for your web time entry. I will also go over how to return incorrect timesheets, how to call the timesheets back after they've been submitted, and how to set up a proxy. To begin, you will need to log into your faculty and staff account. This is found under the links at the top. From here, select Web Services and enter your username. This is the same as your email, then enter your password. Once logged in, select Employee. You may use the tab or the list option. Then select Timesheet. Once in, it should be on Approve or Acknowledge Time. If not, select the bubble and then the Select button. On the Approver Selection page, if you are in charge of approving more than one department, ensure that you have selected the right department. There's a drop-down menu of dates to choose from. Make sure you are approving the right month as well. Under Sort Order, you have the option to sort your students' timesheets by timesheet status or by student names. Once everything is as you wish, hit Select. On the Department Summary page, your students' timesheets are divided by timesheet status, such as Not Started, In Progress, Pending, or Approved. If your students' timesheets are in progress, your students will need to submit them to you for approval. If they are pending, they are ready for you to approve. You may click on your student's name to review a detailed report of clock hours. Use this page to ensure your students have the right times entered and are recorded under Shift 1. If not, you can return the timesheet to the students for corrections or you have the option to change the record yourself. If you choose to change yourself, click on Add Comment to document the change. If everything is correct, click the Approve button at the top or the bottom of the page. After you have approved the timesheet, it will take you to Employee Details and will say Time Transaction Successfully Approved next to a yellow triangle. If you have approved by mistake or then notice a needed correction, you may select Return Time. It will then say Time Transaction Successfully Returned next to a yellow triangle. This will return the timesheet from payroll so that you can make the necessary adjustments. After making corrections, do not forget to reapprove. You are responsible for setting up your own proxy. Your proxy must be a full time Adam State employee, not a work study or a student. To set up a proxy, select Proxy Setup at the bottom of the Time Reporting Selection page. Once on Proxy Setup page, select the drop-down list of eligible proxies. Once you have their name selected, click the box under Add. If for any reason you have someone you no longer wish to have as a proxy, you can click the box under Remove. After you have made any changes, be sure to save them with the Save button. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it has helped and answered any questions you may have had.